Happy Halloween, everybody. This is Jackson No with No Finance, bringing you the most up-to-date small business financing news. And today, it's looking spooky, okay? First, uh, let's kick things off with exciting funding news coming from the newly formed asset-based lending group, J. Palmer Collective. They funded a woman-owned lead coffee retail shop, Peace Coffee, where they secured a $3 million line of credit that allows them to leverage their accounts receivable and inventory for their financing needs. Over a national funding, They've received a massive $83 million line of credit from Fort Bright Bank, ensuring that they can continue supporting small businesses with necessary funding. Uh, national funding offers small business loans up to $500,000 and equipment financing up to $150,000. To date, they have funded over $4.5 billion to 75,000 businesses nationwide. And it doesn't stop there. MMP Capital has locked in a $20 million credit facility. Uh, to continue their equipment financing, especially for the medical aesthetics, dental, and clinical healthcare sectors. This is great news for those in the in these industries looking for reliable financing options for their equipment purchases. One of the biggest names out there for online small business lenders, Capitus, makes a strategic move to enhance their offering to current and prospective customers through an acquisition. The longtime lender announced they are acquiring an equipment finance lender, 10 Oaks Commercial Capital, so on top of offering the merchant cash advance, they are now adding a key financial product to better serve small businesses' financing needs. Innova, the holding company of two of the biggest small business online leaders out there, On Deck and Headway Capital, has just hit a huge milestone for the first time ever in the history of the company by funding $1 billion in a single quarter. Headway Capital and On Deck both offer lines of credit up to $100,000, and On Deck also does merchant cash advances up to $250,000. And finally, we have received an update from PayPal about their small business financing product, Loan Builder. Uh, it has been a year or two since we've heard much activity from them. I used to fund a lot of deals through Loan Builder. They were uh, really easy to work with and always had great interest rates. They absolutely took over the online small business lending market before COVID and then through 2022, but got a little too big for their britches, uh, so to speak, who were recklessly lending money to unfit businesses. Their portfolio suffered immensely. So they took a couple of years hiatus focusing on just collecting on what they could and nearly stopping new originations to small businesses altogether. Recently, they released they, that they've taken control of their existing portfolio and are back to steadily originating new loans again. So if you're a business owner and need up to $100,000 in a day or two, PayPal Load Builder might be a good option for you. Uh, the only thing with PayPal, they don't offer monthly payments it's always weekly but still interest rates are, are pretty solid they're they're very competitive in the online lending marketplace and lastly alliance funding group has secured a 50 million dollar credit facility to boost their originations and equipment financing offering up to 10 million dollars in financing to small businesses now that we've covered the online lenders let's move on to some exciting news from the big banks where a 7.85 million dollar investment has been made that will help small businesses in the following states Ohio, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and West Virginia. So a lot of the Southeast, some of the Midwest there. Uh, if you are in any of these states, there's now more money to go around for you small business owners. CDFIs will be able to lend you anywhere from $5,000 to $750,000 thanks to a partnership by Face Third Bank and the Community Reinvestment Fund. This model combines grants, microloans, and small business loans to help finance your businesses needs. For more information, visit a fifth third branch or a trusted CDFI in your area. Now I want to go over an article written by Marketplace News that, that covered how, how the economy is showing signs of stabilizing and returning back to normal. But some business owners still feel very wary and uneasy, especially during an election season. Even with the positive trends, challenges persist. Many are grappling with skilled labor shortages, supply chain issues, and even the after effects of the natural disasters of Hurricane Hilton. I'm sorry, Hurricane Milton and Hurricane Helene. Recent port strikes and delays caused by the attacks in the Red Sea are adding even more delays to that supply chain. Inflation has led to higher costs and profit margins have been shrinking since COVID. One business owner shared that they are having to cut corners just to stay afloat, feeling like they're not providing the best service possible while operating on tighter budgets and the price for their service and goods is more expensive than it used to be when they had better service. So what does all this mean? What makes me feel good about the economy is that these online lenders are being financed by big banks and large investment groups to the hundreds of millions of dollars. These lenders wouldn't be asking for this money if they felt like their, their business owners, their clients who are borrowing their money, 
need the financing. So it all stems back to a report I read earlier as well, that the banks are not driving the loan demand. It comes from the, the feeling of the business owner, their outlook on their business, how they feel about it. So if the business owners feel good about their business, the banks will respond accordingly. When it comes to small business lending, the banks are the online lenders in this case. So if the online lenders are asking for more money from investors and bigger banks. To me, that's a good sign from the small businesses. So that's it for today's report. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more daily uh, small business financing updates. This has been the Halloween edition of the No Finance channel. We'll catch you back here tomorrow for more exciting small business news and updates.